a little terrified. Everything, it's straight through his skull. That is hardcore right there. That is as metal as it gets. What is going on everybody? Right here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Today just bringing you a few awesome ass updates like the Giganotosaurus, swords, shields, just a bunch of crazy ass stuff. Um, since my server is still not up, or not my server, the series that my server is on, the, uh, the administrator still has it. Um, I guess it's in the process of being set up now. He's finally moved houses, it's getting settled down, but I still have at least a couple days, so I figured I would just do this on my local game, which means I could put in whichever mods I want. So of course we have to have the Pimp My T-Rex mod in here, which just lets you equip insanely badass chitlin leather and metal armor to him. And I figured since I don't have any homies with me going on this adventure where we go and find and tame a Giganotosaurus, that I would just take a couple of my most trusted soldiers with me, Pippin and Longshank. These two men have served me through some tough times. I love these bastards. Alright, so this this little group right here is what I'm gonna use. I should just I'll just show you guys. I don't have the leather armor on me right now because this is not a it's not a mod review really. This is more just the stuff who definitely keep that on you. This is more just the stuff that um that I chose to take with me on this adventure. It's based around the Giganotosaurus, really. That's this video. Look at that badass metal armor right there. I like to leave Chitlin on when we're just chilling around the base and then put metal on when we go into battle, so it's time to equip it anyways. Sharp Tooth, you're one handsome bastard. And your dumps are magnificent. Alright, what else we got here? We have swords, swords, and shields. Now they finally put in the riot shield. I've been submitting it forever. I think, um... I think the Bry Sci-Fi one should have been here already because she has way more subs than me. I don't know where the Slipgator shield is, but... We have the Riot Shield! How awesome is that? Obviously, guys, I know what a Riot Shield is. I'm just joking because my name's Riot. This is jokes for people who, um, for people who take things slightly too seriously. But how sick is that? We, um... Because we, we also have this Metal Shield here, which is also equally as badass, which a Metal would actually hold off on... I feel like Metal would hold off against a lot more things than a Riot Shield would, but it would just be a thousand times heavier. We'd have to have some crazy-ass traps going to hold a Metal Shield up that high. We've all seen the 300, we know what we gotta look like. There's a reason that other little dude, little dude, couldn't get into the army. It's because that shit's hard to hold up. I really wouldn't think anything could get through a metal shield, but anyways, the riot shield is much higher level anyway, so of course it takes a lot more damage. Um, I guess riot shields are made to withstand everything from molotovs, bricks, anything that would typically be thrown at a riot police during a revolution. So uh, yeah, I trust it against a couple raptors. The sword is just, um, the sword is just totally tits, man. The sword is awesome. Another thing that we should have had an arc way long ago, way before automated turrets. That's just, that's just the way it is. Ooh, for anybody noticing my armor, this is the additional armor sets mod, the NPC people mod, and the Pimp My T-Rex mod. They're all in the description. I'm just gonna rock the Norse armor today because it's the most, like, arc-based realistic while still having a good time. Alright, apologies to the people who only wanted to go see us hunt down one of these crazy bastards. We're finally done talking about all the extra stuff. Pippin! Longshank! We're moving! <laughs> Good god, this armor is heavy as a shit! I guess I should specify. A monster shit. There we go. It's definitely slowing us down a good amount, though. It weighs like a hundred- no, wait, it weighs like not only 60 pounds. 80 pounds? No, that's, that's actually typical. Sharp tooth over here just sucks ass. All right, we um, we couldn't have chosen worse weather to head off on this adventure. <gasps> Let's wait till we can't see five feet in front of us. Yes, promote whoever said that. He needs to be making the shots around here. Get ready, girl. Oh shit, son. Pippin, long shank. Get that carno, would you? Dude, these guys are badasses. Look at that. They don't take any smack, and they're only level 22 and 40. That spider made a bad choice. Yeah, dude, they're, they're crazy. I think the first place I'm gonna head is inland. Or inland mainland. God, that looks crazy sexy. It looks like a giant locomotive that will eat your family. The worst kind of locomotive. But yeah, I'm gonna go midland, or like middle of the island, because that's, well, according to Jurassic Park logic, and I think real life logic as well, the biggest creatures typically, or typically maintain the center. I guess that's just how everything works. Now that I think about it, that's exactly the basis of Spore, too, so. And we've managed to completely loop right back out of the center. Jesus Christ. The fog, man, I can't see anywhere in front of me. 
I'll just go ahead and mention this here. Um, just be expected. I'm gonna skip around a good a good amount in this video because it's it's kind of late already. I I'm gonna have to edit this by tomorrow morning, and um, I like I just got home from work, so I I kind of have my hands full. So I'm definitely gonna skip around a bit on this one, but I will make it up to you. Holy shit, we're right back where we were like 10 minutes ago. This is humiliating. Look at this guy, a random wild adventurer. Well, good luck, buddy. I don't mean to do you no harm. If you bring shit my way, though, I will vaporize you. Alright, my instincts are telling me to not go into the swamp, and I think my instincts know what the hell they're talking about. Oh! Oh, oh, you don't want to do that! You don't want to do that! Oh, no, that guy's definitely... Holy shit, did you see his body ragdoll? I was gonna say, that guy's probably a tough phobe. Oh my god, now we have giants. Okay, this is exactly why we have to avoid the swamp. This world is not safe. Wait, just keep walking, big guy. That's right. Oh my god. For real, I would love to see a fight get down in real life with T-Rexes armed like this. I don't even know where the hell you'd go to attack where you couldn't get stabbed. Someone put way too much time into that. <laughs> we gotta have a spike everywhere. Well, this is definitely where I'd be if I was a Giganotosaurus. I mean, I might be more personality based than most of them though. Where's the most food? I guess I'd be anywhere there's food. And I do apologize in a previous video for calling them Gigantosauruses. I, I just typically, I, you know what I do? I look up the how how to pronounce them a lot of the time. And then occasionally I won't, and it bites me in the ass like crazy. I'm um I'm an IT tech. I repair computers, printers, phones, that sort of shit. But I will become a paleontologist. I promise. <laughs> well, damn, this is where I'd be for sure. Jesus Christ, this place is giant infested. That man is almost as tall as my T-Rex. Talk about intimidating right there. Imagine hitting on a girl and that guy walks up and just slaps his dong on the table, just hits like the whole restaurant. Yeah, oh my god. I'd be so demasculated. If my men die because I'm talking about some random dude's junk, I'm gonna kill myself. Alright, boys, get that spino, would you? Right there. Go get him. Go get him. There you go. Get him. Pippin Longshank. Oh my god, those guys are beast as shit. The characters typically, especially the melee ones, are just like OP to. Um, well, I guess just. I guess because they're human, they're just OP to apes pretty much. But you can equip armor on them as well, so not. I don't know. It's it's a whole bunch of fanciness. But they have a lot of health and a lot of damage. They're they're very resilient. They, but they're kind of also randomly spawning around the entire map too. So you need at least a couple with you to go anywhere. That's that's why I brought them with me. <laughs> Get your ass kicked around here. See, look. We roll up, and look, that guy's got a crossbow, that guy's got a what? Hey, you better run, dirtbag. We're actually right in the middle of a tribe. I can tell because my game's lagging because I'm, like, rendering all their, um, all their outposts. Yeah, see, there's an outpost over there. I seriously doubt that big son bitch spawns in the swamp anyways. So let's, I was going to cut through it just to get over there, but now I'm going to go... Now I'm going to definitely go around it. Also, my game will stop lagging so I don't have to just generate, like, 20 outposts all of a sudden. <laughs> Look at this chick! I'm like just trying to get on my quest, trying to stay focused and not get distracted anymore. And Bush Bitch over here with berries all up in her hair just pops out of nowhere. <laughs> Could you be any more tribal? Jesus Christ, look at that. What is that? <gasps> is that a plant species X in your head? Does that kill anything that go comes near you? And is that guy holding a giant turd on his back? What the hell is going on around here? Does that guy have a leg stuck clean up in the air like a dead ballerina dancer? There is so much wrong with this image. Let's just get the hell out of here. I know I've said this like three times already, but this is definitely where I'd be if I was the Giganotosaurus. I, I'm a little shocked actually as to his whereabouts not being right in front of me. Look at that. I still haven't found a Giganotosaurus, but I found a T-Rex with four Amazon women on top of it. You just never know what the hell you're going to find around the corner. Clearly we can't leave you alive because you're a competitor. Oh yeah, you're starting beef. Obviously this is gonna happen. Well, I don't know what the hell you women are thinking. That's what happens when there's four female drivers at once. I'm just... I'm just kidding everybody. Calm down. Statistically everyone, or you just can't really measure driving off of sex. It's more age and, and intelligence. Alright, but I think I've just about seen everything except... What is that? Oh, no, that's the same old, same old long-necked bastard. <clears throat> Don't start killing packies down there, what the hell? We're no better than the animals that we actually are. Never mind, continue killing. Dude, oh dude, shit, 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 what is that? What is that charging down the hill? That is so clearly what we're looking for. All right, buddy, you stay here, 
Stay on passive. Stay, stay on passive. It's too late for that. It's too late for that. Run past us. Go kill something else. Oh my god. Please don't do anything. Please don't kill it. Holy shit, that thing is massive. Oh my god. Alright, time to time to finally work on the tame now. For everybody wondering what the best way to possibly tame one of these things is, or things is, a good deal of my friends are all just saying use a Quetzal. A Quetzal is your best possible. Are you eating my freaking sharp tooth? Why did I leave you in passive? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's doing so much damage. It's got sharp tooth by the ass, man. No, you're so gonna die right now. Oh my god. No. No, that was so horribly planned. Oh my god, now we're gonna die right now. This thing does so much freaking damage. Holy shit. This is why it's important to have sleeping bags and beds planted in outposts all over your world constantly. Alright, well, it's finally been more than long enough since that horrible attack happened. Damn it, I've lost everything I went on this journey with. This sucks ass. Sharptooth, I'm so sorry, buddy. I put you in passive. You couldn't do anything to stop it. And there the beast remains, just eating everything. Jesus Christ, that's all we needed was bigger mouths. Alright, so my plan here is just to shoot it, run, shoot it, and run. And then I'm thinking after I diversify a little, I'll probably just shoot it and run. Take that, dirt bag. I know like a level 1 of these, a level 1 has about 5,000 torpor and every level up above that has about 500, so I'm hoping that this beast won't be that incredulous. I'm tranking his ass right now, he's not, he's not turning around. I'm not taking any chances though. <laughs> not after seeing what he just did to my heavily armored Rex, are you serious? Yeah, the definite best way to take one of these guys down is with a Quetzal. No! No, 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 Oh, shit. I know I'm pronouncing that name wrong right now. I'm just scared for my damn life. Oh, you know what? Might as well apologize for all the profanity while I'm at it. I'm, um, I'm a little terrified. Everything, it's straight through his skull. That is hardcore right there. That is as metal as it gets. Good luck eating the tree, bro. I know I'm supposed to be waiting till they, till they, um, till they stack, or because they don't stack, I'm supposed to be waiting 10 seconds for them to... But I'm, um, I'm just, I'm just a little skittish right now, man. This, I've never tried to take down a beast this big alone before, but luckily now we have darts and everything. You know, it's, it's a possibility. Before with drink arrows, it was not. This is magnificent. If you can get it pinned in a tree where it goes perfectly through the bottom of their jawline out the top, then that is what I recommend. Oh my god, getting prime meat is gonna be such a bitch now. That's like the whole purpose of having sharp tooth with me. Sharp tooth, but I'll figure it out. That's that's not the hard part. The hard part is getting this guy down. And by the amount of tranks in you, sir, I must say you should definitely lay off the opiates. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh no, I moved a little! I moved a little and it inspired him to get to get loose! Oh that sucks ass. I should have stayed still forever. Don't move a muscle. Don't move. Shoot him right down the throat. Oh, that should be an instant tame right there. Just directly into the bloodline. No thick reptile skin or nothing. Thank God he's only like a level 14 too. Because I was reading up on some guys. Like again, I was having a Reddit conversation. Some guys were trying to tame like a level 90. After just eating up a good like 200 shrink arrows. He just proceeded to destroy their entire base. Their entire coastal base. And they had to end up drowning him. So this is... This is a prime scenario right here. Oh no, this parasaur just screwed it up for everybody. I was mixing it up with trach arrows for a bit, so I didn't use up all my darts since he was pinned, but it looks like now I have to speed the process back up again. Oh, he's so coming around at me. There's no... You, you, never, never mind. I don't even mean that much to him. The guy who's been getting him high for the past hour is immediately out of his mind. This is... This is like problems drug dealers have with rappers, I feel like. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Get stuck behind the boulders. That's right, you big dumb bitch. He walked right over the boulders. My old master plan unfolded right in front of me. Back around. Back around. Let's see you walk over them again. That's right. Throwing you curveballs. You didn't see that coming, did ya? Go to sleep. For God's sakes, just go to sleep. It's all I ever wanted. No! Oh my God! Son of a bitch! I looked away for a second and he got me. Oh my God! That is why people should never knock on your door. I can't believe I actually managed to go a good like, I had a good like 10 minutes of shooting him right there before, before he, 
Man, that guy vaporized the shit out of me. I don't know how I managed to go so long without him hitting me, but I, the, the one time he got me, that one hit does so much freaking damage. It's just astounding. It's insane. I mean, my guy had a good deal of health, full flak armor I had just made. It was all just fancy pristine. And no, just one hit and your ass is grass. I don't know how I managed to go so long before without it. Alright, well there marks my first attempt and last attempt for the day. Clearly those things were not meant to be tamed on their own. I was just ridiculously cocky, my server's not up, my friends aren't on, I wanted to go check it out on my own, and I got my ass kicked. The worst part is I lost a few of my best friends' allies back there, a few of my best soldiers too, but they're actually still alive somewhere, just, just, just super lost. Might even be that person way down there fighting the turtles. Anyways, if you guys want to see future videos with these massive beasts, I'm thinking preferably, well, aside from just taming a Giganotosaurus on my uh, on my regular survival series, I can't wait to put some mods around it, see what we could test that creature, put it to its limits. I don't know, just generally have fun with it the way we do every other creature. Anyways, if you guys had a good time watching and want to see more, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and have a nice day. Peace!